maybe stretch your legs, get some exercises going. Make sure to, you know, just keep loose. Take it easy. They're not doing shit. <laughs> now, let's jump into winner's final. Smashville, Rob versus Lucina. Mr. E. Now, this, okay, whenever Mr. E is schmoovin', like, in the game, he's schmoovin' in real life. You see him bounce in his chair whenever he feels himself. One of my favorite things ever. Yep. And that's not too uncommon. You see a lot of players who feel very into it, but Mr. E definitely, like... He's in it to win it. Yeah, yeah, he, he's got a feel. He has to be in Lucy in the shoes. Meanwhile, he's got to put himself there. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got Dill, who's just kind of composed. They just kind of oh wow! Speaking of comp yep. composure, gets the calls out the O smash out of the jump. Yep. He's, he's controlling the stage. Hold on a second. What happened? The game just started. Yo! So that was a really smart call right there. He actually physically pushed the gyro himself to the edge of the ledge to catch the upbeat. Yeah, I have never. You'll you'll Hello? you'll see Robs do that right. Is push the gyro to the edge of the stage, ignoring that last talk. <laughs> and uh, it's a really good like ledge trapping tool. Yes. Dancing blade, oh, free punish, you're dead. Try good night. Again. Yep. Oh, oh no! Wow, good. That was really good DI. Yep, good DI, good mash out all around coming out from mystery. Yep. So that is inherent in uh, Rekka style moves, uh, moves where you press the input multiple times to finish the move out. Uh, you can wait and then bait out a response and catch it. But if Mr. E does all full of them, he gets a full punish. That was a smart call. He knew he was going to get punished out of shield, so he upbeat right away. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get caught by the second one. He's going to jump into this next stock here. Uh, Paris, I mean, Dill was playing pretty on point that very first stock until he just randomly died. So, yep. Dill, Honestly, ooh. Nice. He's not letting to get to him either. He's still playing this very well. I got just back. Aerodon just onto the stage. Bit of a questionable decision, but not getting too much of a punish on. All right, down tilt hitting low. Whoa. Ran out of fuel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I thought he had gotten some super weird spike, not spike, from up B for a second. Yeah, you got to be careful on that tank there. Okay, more neutral airs. Parry into up tilt. Look at that. All yep. off of that parry, got 30 damage. and almost got a spike to end the stock. Mm -hmm. That is one of the dangers of going for the second hit of Rob's Nair. It is reaction parryable if the opponent is not committed to anything. And at the ledge, most people don't want to commit too hard. All right. Down tilt spot dodge. Was waiting for a punish. Doesn't come. And the good thing about down tilt is not only is it safe, because it's one of, like, Lucina's fastest cooldown moves, mm -hmm. it also, like, applies shield pressure where it, like, pushes Rob physically away. So yes. it becomes tough for him to try to go for a punish. If, if, if spaced correctly, you know? Yep. Speaking of spaced correctly, he had a perfectly spaced down tilt there and still got punished by the fair out of shield from Rob. That's a really good punish dodge. And that's game. Space. Ing. Do you think Rob has ever been to space? Because he's got the rockets for it. He was literally born in a toy factory. So I doubt it. But does that count as... Uh, well, I'm Are you talking about canon Rob? Like lore Rob? Well, I, I'm saying, like, do you think Rob has gone to space? Because I'm talking like this Rob. I'm talking like Smash Rob. Smash Rob, or, uh, I mean, Lilac Cruz is space. We've seen oh. Rob fight on Lilac Cruz, therefore. Are we going to are we gonna start asking questions about her characters can breathe on Lilac Cruz? Cause no, I'll, because I'll have that discussion. No, because uh, Sonic can breathe in space, and Sonic's in this game, so therefore <laughs> we're in the world where everyone can breathe in space, <laughs> obviously. Game two. It's there, not about breathing. It's about staying warm in space, there, too. They're able to do that as well. That's true. There's just enough oxygen, and somebody turned on the heater on uh, whatever spaceship that is. Any, can we talk about that sh movement coming out from E when he <laughs> went for that neutral air fadeaway forward smash to get the kill? No zoom in for Dill. He just kind of exploded. Yes. Uh, moving on to game two here, looking like a little bit better of a start. Uh, okay, that was smart there. Actually grabs him from just outside of the top range. Tries to angle up to catch that, but doesn't get it. Force smash to call out the double jump. Reaching really high. high. You, you see how far hot up in the air Dill goes, because he recognizes that Dil Mystery will chase after him. He has a sword. He has no defensive options. He has to go high. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult for him to win outright. He can maybe trade, but trades aren't something you want when you're that far and your fuel's ticking down. Woo! Oh. Get that back here, Dill! <laughs> All right. Actually cancels out the gyro with the sword swing. He's chasing. He's got no jump. This could be a lot of damage. He's not letting him land. All this st Goes okay. for the platform. Yep. Thankfully, Mystery had that platform for him to be able to get away. But we got a oh! into a forward smash. Dill's turning up the just, heat. Did he just zero to death him? 
I, yes, I, I think so. I, I, I wasn't keeping okay. track. Okay. But that, there's a there's a one hit death right there. Yeah. Forward smash. I don't know. Uh, zero percent on Dill, and yep. two stock uh, a stock lead. Yep, a very clean stock. Okay, chases with the fair. Goes for down tilt. Very low committal. Tries to get uh, the back hit of up air there, or not up air, up tilt, which may have gotten a combo starter. But Dill just out of range. So you're trying to open him up with all these forward airs. All right, I like that poke. You see him actually. It's a it's a fast fall up air. Like he doesn't do it on the on the way up. He does the as he falls down to the ground, so they can immediately proceed to follow up with Another it up one? till. Oh my god! And the thing is, he could have shielded there. Yes, that he was, was playing not, aggressive. That was not a lock. That was a restand. Hmm. All right, Dill is so good at managing his fuel. Real talk. I mean, you have to. You play this character. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, gets himself back with back air. Air dodge to get back safe and sound at the very end. Right. Point blank beam. And Catch he uses it. the hit stun from the gyro to extend the, uh, yes. the hitbox. Now, to be fair, that was mystery. Mystery e had buried that hole and put himself in it by tossing it up like that. Now, so. I, would, I would say good stuff for Dill for adapting the whole, like, down throw going for the up air instead because he realizes mystery is going to mash. But you know damn well he's looking through that mirror. He knows what mystery is going to do. He is he is not guessing. He is reacting. Absolutely. Well, you got to remember, robots don't have to worry about the reaction time that humans have. They got that. They got that electricity. Dill is far from being a robot, though. Yeah, very true. But he he's composed like a machine. And he's taking it to game three, despite a uh, little bit of a flub up on game one, which, again, when you're this far ahead in winner's finals, even if you've got a game you can spare to lose, uh, it's mentally taxing. you got to keep yourself composed for that. And this would be a really good win for Dill as well. You know, my man sitting at 11 on the PR, beating number four. And also, you know, Dill, the only you know that Dill's won was one that, like, didn't have too high of competition. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, this one, like this is like, even though we don't have as many people, there's still a high level of like, there's a, there's a, there's a top amount of like high level players here, you know? Yes. The Mystery is here, Sinji's here, Jen's here, um, uh, John is here. Like there's a lot of like really good players here. So this would be a re extremely respectable Xeno win for Dill to try to put underneath his belt. Exactly. It's not the size of the bracket, but it's how densely packed it's it is. It's the size of your heart. <laughs> it's the size of your heart. And it grows three times this tournament. As we can jump into Battlefield Go! for game three. The Grinch SD'd three times that day. And he said God, winning. I not. <laughs> I had that happen yesterday, actually. Can you imagine? Oh. We literally had it happen today with Bankai. No! Anyways. He... Oh, poor guy. Here we go. Final game of this in this best two of three, because we don't want to stay up all night to give you guys the best three of five. Here we go, Battlefield. All so, right. out the game. That was an anti-air down tilt, and it worked. Right. That's kind of slimy. Wowies. All right. Wowzers. Here we go. Okay. Seen this? So that's a really cool tactic right there, is that he jumps out of the up B to get for a little surprise above the ledge attack. Very smart, and honestly very difficult to try to anticipate, because you basically have to guess that it's going to happen. And I like Mr. E's aerial there too, right? He swung it out the s right before he touched the ground, like super late to try to make it as safe as possible, instead of just like throwing it out immediately after he jumps or goes into the airborne, you know? Really smart stuff. Trying to call out that air dodge with good fadeaway from Mystery. Gonna try to avoid that. Manages to knock Dill off stage. Gets a little too oh, aggressive. He still teched that. That wasn't even like a. Well, it might have been. That might have still been a serious contender for his life, but he still teched that and up he ran away. It, it did give him a lot good. of time because you have a lot of time to react to that with the second you get caught by up air because it's a multi hit. So yes. when, you, when you get to the level of like Mr. E, those techs become like. It's surprising if you, if you miss it, you know? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Coming from low. He's got to be careful about his fuel. No, he's, that's it. Oh, I think he thought he had a little bit more because I think he was trying to like buy a little bit more time because he could have easily, if, if he knew he was going to have fuel right there, he could have air dodged up to catch the ledge. Up Doesn't smash, matter. Yep. There uh, we go. I wonder, because it looked like he was at just a range there where he could have air dodged to make it back to the ledge, but he had already burned it, obviously. Right. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if he would have made that kind of play. Let's we'll see. Oh. Chases in with the laser. Good conversion. Trades. Rob does have a decent time of being able to trade with sword characters. He's got those hefty limbs. Wait, Rob can't air dodge out of a B. Uh, he can't. He... Oh, he got it back. Okay, my bad. My okay. brain broke there for a second. <laughs> I was like, wait a sec. But I've seen him do it. All right, here we go. All right. 
Good punish on that one. That was a little bit ambiguous as to which side he landed on, but he on top of it. Ooh! Ooh. Catch him! All Forward right. smash coming out from Mr. E to take away that stock. And just in return, almost Dill trying to find that down airs. Get a spike. Trying to space out these back airs as well. Puts the gyro in space. Yep. Even though Dill can play this patient, he knows he can't play at a deficit forever. He doesn't want that extra percent. He here. looked in the mirror. He looked in the mirror. I saw him. I was <laughs> staring right into his soul. He looked in the mirror. <laughs> Save that replay, Devin. He looked in the mirror. <laughs> I am telling you, dog. Okay, 11%. All right. Good laser. All right. Goes for a really late fast fall up air there. Doesn't get a total punish out of that, but that still was the end of his turn. So hungry for these up tilts. Starting to rack up the damage bit by bit. Dill steamrolling Mr. E currently. 74 damage. Yep. Oh, now it's Mr. E's turn. Taking him on a little ride. He got a little, he got a lot off of that vertical combo, right? Setting him up oh! nice. Oh no! He's dead! The problem was is that he held shield after the attack swung because the shield breaker was not the move that broke it. It was the fact that he didn't react to it. Got hit by it and continued to hold shield. That was such a smart call, too, from Mr. E, knowing that he had just... That's all it takes, right? Because <sighs> if you charge Shieldbreaker just a little bit, then it already does, like, 80% of your shield. He had just gotten a little glancing hit with Fair. He said, okay, I've got some serious shield damage that I can put on the board here. Even if this does not break your shield, shield is going to be off the board for, like, five seconds. 